Hi hey everybody, this is Matt from Nementsa and I'm here today to talk to you about the language attribute. This is an attribute that is often overlooked on a lot of the sites we audit and when used correctly can greatly improve a visitor's experience. The language attribute for those of you that don't know is for specifying the language of the text on the page. This can be the whole page or a single word or sentence on the page. If I bring up my example, we can see how both English and French is used on the page, predominantly English, and we are going to add the language attribute to mark up these changes in the language correctly. Firstly, to give you a better impression of how this can make a difference, I have a demo available which shows these two sentences being read out by a screen reader, the first of which is read in the correct accent, the second of which is read using the incorrect language code, so we can see how much of a difference it can make. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Je vais bien. Je m'appelle Fred. J'habite à Bristol. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Je vais bien. Je m'appelle Fred. J'habite à Bristol. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. My name is Fred. I live in Bristol. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. So we can hear how those two sentences can sound very different depending on the language code specified. So let's see how we can add the language attribute to the page and individual components on the page. We do this by simply adding the language attributes to the HTML element. This specifies the main language of the document so a user can hear it in an appropriate language. If we had a single word or sentence in a different language, we will want to specify the language of those snippets separately. To do that, we simply add the language attribute to the wrapping element. Now we have the sentences identified as French text, so if a screen reader was to read out this sentence, it will change into a French vocabulary and it will sound much better than the terrible English accent we had in the audio clip. We can also include the language attribute on links to specify the language of individual words and you might want to consider adding the hreflang attribute which helps to specify the language of any linked document such as pages or PDFs that are in a different language. So there we have it, a quick introduction into two elements that are quite often overlooked and as we found out can make a big impact on users such as those using screen reader technology.